if you're infected with COVID-19 once, are you immune from it? Many people think so, including Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. But some health experts and COVID patients aren't so sure. Tonight, Channel 2 investigator Robert Arnold puts that claim through our trust index. How rough has it been for you? Where to begin? Meet Adam Stadler and his wife, Audrey. It felt like I literally was going to die. Um, Audrey... She coughed up blood for 14 hours. Adam first got COVID at the end of March. He was treated at United Memorial Medical Center. The first time it was bad, but it was nowhere near the severity that it is now. Adam was released from the hospital in May, even got a nifty certificate to hang on the wall. After quarantining at home for two weeks, two tests showed he was negative for the virus. Then Audrey got COVID at the end of June. Adam felt like, look, you took care of me. I'm not worried. I have antibodies. I've already had this. Except Adam got sick again. Another test showed positive for COVID. I like think that I'm a pretty tough, tough old country boy. But it had me crying like a little baby because of the pain. I do believe he was infected twice. Dr. Joseph Verone treated the Stadlers. The fact that you have corona does not preclude you from getting in trouble again. But studies in the U.S. and abroad are skeptical. The Centers for Disease Control states in the last six months there have been no confirmed cases of reinfection. Studies suggest remnants of the virus in a person's system causes false positive results or viral loads fall low enough to be undetectable only to resurface later. There's millions of us like me now who are immune. Kentucky Senator and Dr. Rand Paul made bold claims during an interview this month that was uploaded to YouTube. The one way we get immunity is by having more people get it. Researchers and the CDC still don't yet know enough about this virus to validate Paul's claims. We don't have enough data uh, to conclusively say uh, how long uh, somebody might have immunity. Baylor College of Medicine's Dr. Prathit Kulkarni also says researchers still don't know what level of immunity is needed to guard against COVID. As for reinfection? Could that occur at some point in the future? I think it's a theoretical possibility. Because there are still no scientific conclusions regarding a person's immunity to COVID-19 once recovered, Channel 2 Investigates is marking Senator Paul's statements yellow. Be careful with this one. The Stadler certainly are, especially since no one from the health department has called them to discuss Adam's case. You would think they would try to use me as a guinea pig. You know, not that that's what I really want to do, but no, but if I can help the community and help the, the, you know, do something. The CDC reports chances of reinfection are lower in the first three months after infection. However, the CDC cautions if a COVID recovered person starts having new symptoms longer than three months after they first got sick, it's a good idea to get retested. Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.